In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add text above the previous and next blog post paginations in your Squarespace website. I'll also show you how to do this for a project pagination for a project inside a portfolio. Now, all of the codes are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how to set this up step by super simple step. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and if you scroll down, I wanted to show you we're on a blog post, and this right here is the pagination link. This takes us to the previous article, and this takes us to the next article or blog post in this example. So here's the code that we're going to use to add text before and after those links. I'm going to go ahead and copy this code right here. It is in the description below, but there are a couple of things about this that you should know before you install it on your site. First, we're going to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. This is where I'm going to paste the code, which means it'll load on my entire website. And here we can see it now says previous and next. So just assuming that you maybe are working on a podcast or you want to say article or something, we can totally change this text. Here inside the link, it says the word previous, but I can add maybe episode to that as well. So we can say previous episode and next episode or previous article, whatever you'd like it to say. Just change the text between these quotation marks right here. Now, I do want to mention something super important. This set of characters right here, this backward slash and A, you need to leave that part alone inside your code because that is what separates it from the title itself. So this backward slash A, as well as this part of the code that says white space pre, that's what turns this into two lines. So make sure you leave that part of the code alone. Now, this part's super important. I'm going to select save, but I wanted to show you that this code is also affecting a project here inside my Squarespace website. If you have a portfolio of projects, you'll find pagination there as well. If we click into project two in this example site and scroll down to the bottom here, we're going to see it has that exact same pagination. So if you have multiple projects or multiple blogs on your website and you only want this code right here to apply to a single one, we need to install it on that individual blog and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to press Control X on my keyboard to pull that code out of our custom CSS. I'll select Save so it's all gone. And let's scroll back up to the top here. We're going to head back to our main menu and we're going to select Pages. And here we're going to hop into this blog. Now I'm going to go ahead and click to the blog here and take us back to that article so we can see what's happening. There we go. So this is our article with the links down there. But here for this blog, if I click on this gear icon and over here I select Advanced, I can select blog post item code injection. If I click on that here, I can actually add code that will only be on the blog post. But because we can have multiple types of code in code injection, we have to tell the browser this is a style code. I have to say style and then paste my code between these style brackets. This first one has a left caret, the word style and a right caret. And you'll see we finish in almost the exact same way. It says left caret forward slash style right caret. Now I'll select save. The blog is going to refresh. And if we scroll down, we can see the previous episode and next episode text on the blog. But when we navigate to our projects and click on the second project, I'll scroll down to the bottom here. There we go. You'll see that text is nowhere to be found. That's only affecting the blog. Again, we selected the gear icon right here next to the blog that we wanted this code on. Under advanced, we selected post blog item code injection. Here is where we added the code. You'll see it says previous episode and next episode, and we've placed it between these style brackets. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I can't actually type these characters in a description. So check the first comment on the YouTube video to grab this code. But if you're on my blog, it's just underneath the video. Last but not least, I just wanted to mention, I adjusted the size to one REM for my own links here. I liked the way that that looked, but you can change the font size that you want. Heck, you can even change the color. Let's go ahead and say color red and I'll say exclamation point important so the browser knows to pay attention to my code. We'll save this change right here. And as soon as the page reloads, let's go ahead and go back to our blog. We're hoping for this post right here. There we go. And if we scroll down, you'll see the text is now red on the left hand side. So again, click this gear icon and under advanced host blog item code injection. If you want to add anything else to change the style of that text, you go for it. This part right here is the content that you'll need to change. And if you're installing it on an individual blog, make sure you add these style brackets to your code so that the browser reads it as CSS. 
Now, if you want to install this exact same code, but just on a portfolio, so this only happens for the projects inside the portfolio, we're going to copy this exact same code and select Save. And over here under our projects, click that gear icon. Under Advanced, you won't find an option for every individual project because this code will load on every project page. So I'm going to paste the exact same code here. Again, we've got to use those style brackets. This is the example we used that said red, and here it says previous episode and next. Let's select save and take a look at our project. Loading the second project here, we'll scroll down to the bottom. There we go. And now we even have the red text here, previous and next, just on the projects inside this portfolio. It's not affecting the blog at all because again, we click that gear icon and under advanced, we installed this code specifically in this portfolio to affect the projects in there. So again, same exact code is for a blog, but if you want to install it on an individual project, click that gear icon and add it to advanced. And if you want to install it on an individual blog, click the gear icon for the blog, under advanced, select post blog item code injection, and then paste that code right here and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find code and links to content that will help you make this magic happen on your own Squarespace website. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give me a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel, because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week, and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF, available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.